Well, hello, friends. Uh, it's been a month since the last Serenity OS demo video, so I thought I would do a new update. Um, before starting, though, I would like to say thank you to everyone who's supporting the project through Patreon and PayPal. Um, Serenity is being developed entirely out of my pocket, so every bit of support really, really helps. Um, also, I want to say thank you to everyone who has been sending me patches and uh, screenshots of the fun things that you're making with Serenity. It's really, really awesome and really fun to see, so keep that coming. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at what's happened in the last month. Um, something that's really exciting is that um, GCC can now run inside uh, Serenity. The performance is not great, but um, I'll show you uh, if we compile hello.c. As you can see, it takes its sweet time, um, but it will eventually finish and we can run it and it does indeed print hello YouTube. Um, and I don't even care about the performance right now because I'm so happy that GCC works, but um, I don't think that this is anything that uh, new malloc and um, some profile-driven performance work can't fix. So, okay, fine, great. Uh, let's see some new visual changes. Um, as you can see here on the bottom of the screen, we have a new taskbar and um, it's implemented as a separate process, so I kind of started fleshing out this window management protocol in support of this. Um, and also, now that, th th uh, that there is a taskbar, it means that windows have somewhere to go when you minimize them. So I've added window minimization. Uh, pretty cool. And uh, another new thing is window icons. So um, that's um, da -da -da, they show up here and on um, top of them. Windows and also down here in the taskbar and also in the Windows switcher thingy. Um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, last month we also only had the arrow cursor, um, but now we have all kinds of different cursors like um, these resize cursors that pop up. Uh, and we also have a cursor for moving windows. Um, and even a cursor that shows up when you're hovering over a text area. So, all kinds of cursors. Okay, so another new thing is um, tooltips. So, every widget can have a tooltip assigned to it, and um, it's just a string, and then that string will pop up in this little tooltip window whenever you hover over um, such a widget. So you see these things here, the tooltip windows pop up. Um, all right, so, um, enough of that. Let's let's see some new apps. And um, an entirely new app is this, the Visual Builder. So I've been working on this UI design tool here called Visual Builder, and I really enjoyed using Visual Basic as a kid. So I'm bringing that style of interface design back here in Serenity. Um, and um, this is just some some test uh, widgets here. Let's okay, maybe we get rid of this one. This up here, I don't know, with the group box here, make it big, put a checkbox inside it, um, say check to true, oopsie, where the heck did it go? Well, as you can see, it disappeared here for some reason. Um, there are bugs, there are definitely bugs, but uh, I'm working them out. Um, let's say, um, let's put a caption here, still has bugs, and that's definitely a check. There's no saving or loading in this uh, visual builder yet, but um, that's coming, of course, and um, right now I'm just working on the, the basic uh, interface design stuff. And um, also, yeah, I'll show you that I have the, this new widget here, Spinbox, for, um, I guess, for like a numeric entry, and then you have like the convenience of up and down buttons. Uh, and I also added a slider, um, which is your typical slider. And you can actually see the slider in action here in the terminal app. If we bring up the opacity adjustment thingy that this I made just yesterday, pretty cool. Um, okay. And uh, oh yeah, and uh, widgets here, they now have a proper Z order mechanism, so you can actually move them uh, to back and to front. Um, and oh yeah, and this context menu here, also new. Uh, a month ago we only had these menus up here, but now it's possible to have context menus, so I've added those. 
in a few places in the system. Um, okay, and then something else that's new is, oh, oh yeah, I already showed you this um, inline editing here of um, table view widget. And oh, I see that the um, x-coordinate here is moving wildly around while I was doing that, so that's something I have to fix. Um, okay, what else? Let's, um, okay, let's close the visual builder and I'll show you that I have added some new desktop games. Huh? Remember desktop games? Um, the first one I added was Minesweeper, because, you know, you gotta have Minesweeper. And um, it was uh, pretty straightforward to do, although I, I ran into a bunch of um, performance pathologies in the widget library while doing this, so that was really good. The second game I've added was a snake game. Um, and where the heck is the vegetable? Down there. Okay, so here's an eggplant, cauliflower, tomato, and a pepper, and another pepper, and so on. Um, and it's been really good to, to implement these games because it kept exposing weaknesses and missing functionality in the system. And um, the window painting code and the rendering architecture got like a really nice overhaul thanks to um, the snake game, for instance. Um, so what else? Um, so other than these uh, visual things that I just showed you, there's also been a bunch of um, kernel and user land changes <clears throat> sort of behind the scenes. Um, I fixed a ton of bugs in the ext2 file system driver, for instance, and I've also added write caching to the kernel, which makes repeated uh, writing patterns a lot faster. Um, another thing I added was um, basic syscall tracing. Um, and an strace command so that you can see what another process is doing. So you can do like strace6 for the Windows server. <clears throat> and we see that it's, uh, it's a very busy process. Um, and um, the Serenity shell here also got support for pipes and uh, redirection. So um, we can try that with um, strace6 and we would grab for, say, get time of day. And we would only see those, right? <laughs> Just like you would expect. And also, um, let's try another this is called read. Let me just save that in tape and reads. And stop there. Um, okay, so works basically like you would expect. Um, okay, what else do I have? Um, I guess these were just uh, basically the, the main things that I wanted to show. There were a few other things happening in the last month, but I'd like to keep this demo nice and short and sweet. So I think I'll just end it here. Um, so as always, I would like to thank you for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, then do leave a like and, and maybe even a comment. And um, thank you again, and I will see you next time.